All right, yo, Forrest got some major, major damage control to do. And it's all his fault, honestly. And if you don't like what I'm about to say, this is my opinion, and you know what, a lot of people feel this way, then see yourself out. You got a project called Drip that's working. Cool. I get it. The world's on fire. We expect a little up and down. Fine. You launched a manor farm. Cool. That was to get ready for Rev Token. Get as much of it as you can so you can swap it for what you call pigs and dog tokens. Cool. Except for the fact that you told us multiple times we'd get equal amounts of dogs and pigs. And we didn't. Because people thought we were getting equal amount of coins. We didn't. But fine. It worked out because we got equal amounts in dollar value, right? I ended up getting 600 worth of pigs if you need 600 worth of dogs might not be exact tokens fine but then you never address how we were supposed to get that 20 percent bonus for being early to this day i haven't figured out where that went fine little red flags there no big deal oversight right well you launch these pigs you launch these dogs they don't do nothing they moon for a little bit around the time of launch nothing However, when you launched it, you launched it on a Tuesday, and really you launched it on a Thursday. You, on Tuesday, you told us, hey, it looks like it's going to be Thursday. Here's this countdown. Fine. Whatever. Well, because the pigs don't do what you're expecting after about a month, all of a sudden you come out with something called a piggy bank. Out of the blue. We never heard about this before. Okay. All right, well, we'll start gearing up for this magical piggy bank that you was talking about. Okay, cool. Well, you go to launch the piggy bank, tell us it's going to be on Tuesday, only to tell us on Tuesday they just set up the counter uh, uh, for Thursday. Okay, so now it's launched Thursday. You do a couple AMAs in between, and you start talking about all these things we, like we know what's going on. Piglets and truffles, and, and we're like, oh, what's all this stuff? Like, You never give us an explanation of what they are at first. We don't even see a damn white paper with explaining what it is. All right, so we're like, there's something called piglets and truffles. You feed truffles to get piglets and blah, 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 blah. But it's supposed to be this time locked in that's like hex where you just take the coin and lock it and you stake it and blah, 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 whatever. So then Thursday comes around. We're sitting here waiting, waiting, waiting. And you string us along, string us along because you're not ready. You're not ready to launch it, but you won't admit that. So you just say, it's coming along quick. We'll be here soon. It'll be here soon. So then, midday comes around, for most people, around 3, 4 o'clock. And you come out of nowhere, and you're like, well, it's not optimal time to launch it, so we're going to uh, do it tomorrow. We're like, okay, well, we just sat around and waited all day. After you set the last time counter on Tuesday, just to sit here and it's not ready. Talk about you ain't got no sleep. All right, whatever. We understand. Because we've seen the, you know, your projects somewhat work in the past. It worked for a lot of people for a while. So you tell us it's going to launch 10 a.m. the next day. And then you're going to hop on an AMA call for 15 minutes beforehand so you can hit the button right at. Well, that kind of time comes. You hop on your little call. You ring around the rosies, a whole phone call. Just to tell us there's another damn timer. And it's going to launch a couple hours later. Again, not ready. Whatever, fine. Somehow throughout that whole time, because you rushed this piggy bank project, because guess what? I haven't found any info that you talked about launching this protocol throughout any point before you launched Animal Farm. What that leads me to believe is that you came up with that out of your ass. When you saw the pigs doing the complete opposite of what you told people were going to do. And I get we can't hold that to um, hold you to it. Because you can't say this coin is going to go X amount. And, and say, well, he said, yeah, I get that. But ain't nobody, nobody watching this video can sit here and say, no, we knew about the piggy bank the whole time. No, we knew about truffles and piglets the whole time. Nah, you came out of that project to try to save face and try to pump 
money back into the system and reverse the the downfall of pigs. Dogs was it wasn't doing anything. Dogs were moving forty to sixty bucks, fine. But the pigs was the one moving from three hundred to four hundred to two hundred and so on. That was the big swings, right? And it wasn't paying the BUSD that we thought it was. Obviously, you need more. I only had a couple uh, to see it, but it just wasn't doing it, right? Okay. So you launched the project later that Friday. This is last Friday. At some point before the contract went live, people were able to exploit the system. I'm assuming because you rushed it and didn't do the checks, and they found an exploit, and were able to basically multiply their money in a nefarious way, but not in a way where they were like scamming. More so that they were like, well, the door was open early, so we got in and we took front seats. You know what I'm saying? Fine. Well, somehow last night, she hit the fan when I went to bed. So I wake up to this message where it says you want to address the public demands about the ability to divide smaller uh, fractional pigs. Yeah, man. You never talked about it in the first place. In the shitty way you described the piggy bank, you never told us we needed full piglets to get bonuses for the time lock bonus. Never once you bring that up. We had barely found out about piglets and truffles on the day of launch before we realized hours later you need a full 2.5 almost 2.6 million to get a piglet and then everyone's going to get it at the same time therefore missing the 24 hour mark and people were still exploiting the system so you paused everything look at this I can't go in there and do anything these are locked in prices I can't do anything. The only thing I can touch is the garden. And drip. But people people are bad and I think they should be yo. I like your projects. They're easy to understand when you provide the information ahead of time and let people explain it for you and you explain it. But when you just, out of the blue, come up with something to try to fix a problem, the problem's going to get bigger. Right? Look at Drip. It's staying stable around 60. Fine. But don't sit here and tell me that all, launching all these extras didn't affect Drip. You mean to tell me you didn't think people were going to pull out their pigs to sell them? to match BUSD because unlike the drip garden over here when you go to drip liberation if I put in this amount in here I get equal parts it buys drip and it buys BUSD so I'm going to get $260 worth of whatever I put in there split in half on this these two I got to match them right the protocol should have been written the contract should be written the same way the drip liberation garden is I got a pig that's worth 250 I'm going to get 125 of each. Fine. It is what it is. But all those people pulling their pigs out to uh, get in brought the price down. Not to mention the exploits. Now you're talking about this lottery and this vault stuff and all you're working on this next dude, dude, dude chill and slow down bro there's people that just want to be on drip and want to know what's going on on drip and you threw us a bone a new ui okay maybe that'll help a little bit maybe not all we're saying is dude you need to slow down and yeah you got your cronies like Ray here. Maybe you didn't send them. Probably you didn't. But you let them have enough power. They're on such a power trip because they've been there so long in their mods in here that they're betting anybody that questions any little thing. Reasonable questions. Yo, man. Then this dude goes out there and tries to create even more uh, tension by saying there's a, a civil war with Drip and like uh, in the community, in the ecosystem that 
half half the people are just starting shit to make crash when we're not the people that you're referring to the people asking questions you keep banning and the other half are the people that you know don't are scared of you bro it, it, you need to slow down you need to slow down i think your little projects all the ones we're in have the ability to do things but rushing them Specifically, the piggy bank had a catalyst to bring everything else down. It's a domino effect. Drip. Drip's a different story. There's portions of drip that I'm sure are affected by this. A lot of it's probably because the big whale's getting out. Also, the fact that BNB's down because it's still tight in the BNB. And, quite frankly, a lot of the world problems. But all this extra stuff that people are doing in here... It ain't doing nothing. But bringing things down. This is rushed. There's no need to bring these out yet. Because nobody even knows what the hell they are. I mean you're going to start doing AMAs on these things. And we're going to be like what, what are you talking about? Get ready for what launch? Get ready for what launch? And you trying to uh, tell us we're migrating to Air 2 and all this. You need a, so we need a new piggy bank contract. But since we have no ability to migrate people's funds, we need to launch a new pigs token as well. Then migrate liquidity from the V1 pigs to the V2 pigs token. Airdrop the V2 pigs to the current V1 holders minus the botters. So you're telling me you're taking the money that I already got in there. You're going to create the new version of it that's, you know, quote unquote safe, hopefully. You're going to move all my old money into that one. And then you're going to turn around and give me that money back. And I'm supposed to leave you on it? Considering you can't figure out how to launch on time. Bro, my private telegram group is going off. You can probably see it here. We just going to open it up. Look at this. Look at this. People are panicking. And it's a mess you created. Slow down, dude. Slow down, dude, because guess what? This is exactly how everybody else, this project's fizzled out. With stupid shit like this. And I already could tell my contact, contract, uh, comment section going to be blowing up saying, this is crypto. Yeah, it is. You know what? It's also an opinions channel. If you don't like it, you don't got to be here. The fact is, everything was going smooth, but he decided, well, let's just, let's just make it bigger. Let's make it bigger. Let's make it bigger. Yo, that's fine if you plan it outright and speak to the people that you're hoping are going to come into your project. That's why I tell everybody, this is a game. This is what happens with the game. We all remember how shitty uh, the current Call of Duty games have gotten, right? Because they have to launch one every year now. Cold War sucked. Couldn't hear shit. Vanguard sucked for the most part. Other than the fact they brought the movement back from Modern Warfare, the 19, it sucked in terms of visuals uh, and had audio problems as well and then just guns were all over the place. Modern Warfare was decent, 2019. But Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, it's rushed. Call of Duty used to launch every two years. Then they decided, well, we have three studios. Let's launch one every year. Given the, um, given the, some of the uh, studios time in between to work on a little more. But still got rushed. Well, the war sucked. Or no, or the, uh, World War II sucked. I mean, slow down. This happens. I mean, when you try to scale up so quickly, you're bound to miss some steps. Look at this. Everybody here. Everybody here mad as hell. And everybody, I guarantee you, would agree that we like Forex and we like his projects. He just needs to slow the fuck down. Everyone's mad because he didn't slow the fuck down. Look at this right here.
Did too much. All right. And the solution isn't to end these things, no. He has to now go through with his plans and fix it. The solution is to quit with the new shit. Okay, just quit with the new shit. There's people still trying to figure out the first project after Drip that you launched called the Drip Garden. Let alone the animal farm, let alone the piggy bank. And now we got lottery and vaults coming. Quit with the new shit. Make sure all this is on a upward trend. Let's see some positive days. Let's focus on doing what we can after we fix everything to get this to double and this to go up 30, 40%. Drip to go up back closer to 100. And so on and so on before we start launching new projects. That's all most people are asking for. Also, right now, since a lot of people are mad, banning people, For asking the same question, the easy questions, is really bad. Ray needs to take a fucking chill pill. Okay? My 200 fucking YouTube channel is telling his 200,000 YouTube channel to chill the fuck out. Get off his little high horse. And quit banning people. The same people that are putting money in. Because they might only be putting five, ten dollars in here in their own pocket. But that's money that wasn't in there. Until they saw either his videos or someone else's videos, my videos, and got in. Or Jonathan's videos and got in. But it's going to come crashing down. It's going to be a dev fault, a dev problem when it does. Because they rushed it. And that's it. I'm going to go to my real job because it looks like I'll be there for a lot longer than I planned on it. But uh, we'll be back. Maybe later tonight, see how this shakes out. Maybe tomorrow. We'll be back. And this is my opinion. This is the opinion of my group. That Forex don't need to slow down.